Hello everyone, we have Julie here with us today Hi. and she is going to show us how to make a fairy garden with broken pots, which I can do quite easily because I'm great at breaking things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this, is, this is one for me. So I'm going to have Julie get started with all the supplies and I will be right back. Okay, so some of the supplies that we need is we need a pot. Um, if you have one that's pre-broken, that is actually ideal, but I can talk to you about how to break it. Um, and then you just need some soil and a coffee filter. And then all you need after that is just little fairy accessories. You can try different colored stones. Um, and you can even use stones from your own yard and just different kind of um, accoutrements. And then um, also moss is very helpful and that helps fill in any spaces that you might have dirt showing. And then you'll also need a lot of little fairy plants. Um, you can get these at the garden center. These are from our friends at Tagawa's. Um, so and these are really good for these small projects. They really fit in really well. So what's the difference between a regular garden and a fairy garden? Well, the fairy garden just has a touch of like whimsy to it. It's okay. just, it's a fun project. If you have kids, I mean, but even if you don't have kids, I had so much fun with this one. <laughs> it's just like everything tiny. Yes, it's, it's just all miniature. And so you've got the miniature plants and you've got some have flowers, some don't. Um, you've got all the little miniature, you know, fairies and you can also do like a themed one so right now all the Easter stuff is out mm -hmm. and then as different holidays come up different um, different little um, guys will come out so, so you can switch them up uh -huh. yeah uh -huh. so, so you can start with like one and then every season switch it out so what I was confused about is how you can get it perfectly cracked <laughs> right <laughs> and uh, if you're going to crack it yourself there's no way to actually perfectly crack it okay. but there are some tips so um, one thing you can do is you can take like a craft knife and you can kind of score it where you want it to crack okay. and you want kind of like a V shape um, because we're gonna make this into a, like a little terraced garden mm -hmm. so you score it and then you take um, I kind of took a towel and put it behind and took a hammer and just lightly tapped it a lot a lot okay. of, of light taps and then I also took a little screwdriver just a, a super like almost glasses screwdriver mm -hmm. and then I kind of almost chiseled it out okay so, so it takes a lot of patience to get it the first one so if you have a pre-cracked pot I would definitely recommend so you do it I accidentally <laughs> dropped it and it kind yes. of looks like something you, you can say, use. Yay! <laughs> oh, good. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, and the other thing when you're breaking it is you do kind of want a lip at the bottom here. Okay. So this one doesn't really have it, a great lip because it does kind of crack where it wants to. So I just used a piece. I'm going to use a piece of the broken pot and I'm just going to make a little bit higher of a lip in there. Okay. And that'll keep the soil in. So I um, hold that for you. This you is to... kind of the, these are pieces from two different broken pots, um, so that kind of helped me out as well. So you're just going to start by building your terrace, and okay. so first of all, it helps to put a coffee filter in the bottom of the pot, and that will keep the soil from coming out, but it will still let the water drain. Okay. So and then the other tip I have is use pre-moistened soil because that's going to clump together easier and kind of stick where you want it a little bit better. So we're going to start by building our first layer and we're just going to put soil on the bottom. Just one scoopful or kind of um, up just to the top? Up to the top there. Okay. So. And then I'm going to put a little bit more soil kind of in the back of the pot. Is there a special kind mm -hmm. of soil that you use just besides just cream potting moisten? soil? Okay. Yeah, just, just a good quality potting soil. Should I help pack it in right here? Sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the more you pack it in, the easier the pieces will stay. Okay. They'll stay a little bit yeah. better. So, all right. So now we've got kind of the first layer in. Okay. And so now I've got some pieces here. And it really, it's helpful to use the ones with the, the rims if you have them. Um, mm -hmm. It just holds up a little bit better and kind of gives you a little cleaner look. Mm. Um, and the one thing I forgot to mention, sometimes you get sharp edges, so if you do have that, just use a little um, file, like a, file like a nail file. Um, maybe something a little bit more heavy duty, like okay. from your toolbox, and just kind of scrape those down so nobody gets cut. Um, this one actually broke pretty well, so I didn't yeah, have to do too much on that. No one's going to get hurt on this no. one. So, then you take it and you kind of fit your piece in, okay. and fit it in pretty snugly. 
and then you've got to kind of fill it in behind. This might be a buddy project, it, it sounds it, like, it, to have someone hold the seats in. It is doable as a single project, but it is much easier with a partner. So, and again, just pack it in. Do we add any soil to the front layer too? Or do we um, yeah, like we'll kind of see how, what what it needs up there. But okay. first, we're just going to try to get this stuck in. And let me tell you, it really does help to have the pre moistened soil. It sticks so much better. Oh, yeah, I can better. tell right away that <laughs> I tried this, this isn't going in dry our soil, and it was, yeah, it was flopping all over the place. So, that is not what we want. So I am going to add just a little bit more soil to the okay. front here, just to kind of fill in. And it is a little bit of a messy project, but um, I don't mind at all. I, I love dirt fun. under my fingers. <laughs> all right. So we're and we're going to do kind of the same thing with the second layer. Okay. So we'll just kind of fill it into the top here. Pack it in just slightly. Yep, and then kind of fill a little bit further back. And then was this from the same pot that you broke, or was this three different ones that kind of met it's their demands? It's okay, two. It's two. Okay, it's <laughs> two. Okay. <laughs> the first one did not break quite how I wanted it to, um, because it will just naturally try to crack along the weak points in the pot. So um, I just used it then to my advantage. It's okay, well, fine. And then we'll have more pieces to work with. So I'm going to kind of push this one forward just a bit okay. because we want enough room to be able to plant the little plants in here. Oh, okay. So, so on each layer there needs to be at least yeah, enough so, space for that? Yeah. And then so the bottom layer, if you that. need to just fill in with like moss and things, if you can't actually fit a plant in there, um, that's fine too. I'm just going to tilt this a little bit yep. for people to Whoops. see. There okay. are three different layers, if you can see right there. Whoops. <laughs> We'll push that back in. There we go. Okay. So holding so, that up. Yeah. And then let's push this one back just a bit so that we have a little bit more room. There we, we go. We have someone, Perfect. Manny is watching and he's asking for a shout out. Hello, Manny. Hi, Manny. And where's everyone else watching from today? <laughs> All right, we're adding a little bit of dirt. Yeah, we're just going to really pack these in. And then once we get it all set, then once you get the plants and everything in, it'll hold very well. So it's just a matter of getting it started. So the camera angle can't really see this side, but this is about an inch or two inches, I'd say, of space mm -hmm. that you have right here. Yeah. This is about three or four on right. this side. And then right. the little half inch down here, so that gives it enough room. Right, and so there's things. not really enough room probably to add a whole bunch down here. Is that like a moss area So then? I'm just going to put moss in okay. there. Yeah, and that'll give it the look that it fills it out, um, but... It, you don't have to worry about trying to squeeze something in there. Okay. So we have Desiree from Aurora. Was that Desiree? Sorry. Hi, Desiree. Oh, we got Juno Vista. Hello. Hello, hello. All right. All right. Down. And then you can kind of pack up the sides a little bit. So it, it doesn't feel super secure, but it really is. It'll be fine once we get the plants in here. I have a, I'm a little scared to show them again. <laughs> so let's see if we can get let's it. See. There we go. Can everyone see that? Perfect. Oh, we have someone watching from Connecticut. Hello. Wow. Sorry. Hi. Okay. All right. So, and then again, I'm just going to fill in the sides. Just get it all nice and snug. And these are actually feeling a lot more Great. secure right now. Yeah. I'm confident in this that it won't yes. break. <laughs> all right. Oh, we got okay. a Bloomington, Indiana. Thank you, Mary. Oh, yeah, hi. everyone. This is a truly national experience. So there we've got our terraces kind of started. Mm -hmm. And so now comes the fun part. So Decorating. Yes. So okay. we've got all these little plants here. So and you can go with, you know, kind of choose similar types of plants that need similar conditions. Okay. Um, so you could do a whole succulent one that wouldn't need quite as much care and watering, or you can do, you know, a more kind of lush tropical sort of look. And so one thing that I like to do is I like to add a little bit of height. To the top just to kind of pull it up a little bit. Okay, that's good. Um, so, and what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of pre lay them out and decide where we want things before we actually plant them. Right. So, so, it's good to work with height, you said? Mm hmm. Yeah, you okay. can do height and then it's kind of little trailing ones are great because then those will eventually grow down and over. So, this one actually might fill in some nice people to see. spots in here. And maybe a, we could do the pink one on top here, yeah, or we could do this. I like one. this guy. Yeah. I'm going to actually move the camera closer okay. so people can see. These plants are adorable. Are they made to be miniature? Because I feel like I've seen the 
adult so, version of that. I some guess, of the them, I version. mean, they will. Some of them will kind of grow up and out, and so you might have to do some some trimming and um, some editing as time goes on. <laughs> <laughs> so we might be able to fit two little guys in okay. here. And then, yeah, this will probably just be some moss down here because there's really not a whole lot of space. And if you have them where it, sometimes you get a little bit more space on the side, you can actually put some little rocks in and do mm -hmm. like little steps. Oh, good. Um, so this isn't going to work quite as well. We don't have as much space on this one. Um, but you would just, you kind of get the idea where you would just kind of make little steps for your little fairy to go up. You can kind of start right there. And pack that in right yep. there. Okay. Yep. And you don't need to use any glue or anything. It just kind of sticks. Right no. There. If you if you get it packed in there and nice and tight, then it should hold. So it's not something you're going to want to be moving around all the time. <laughs> but you could move it kind of in in the summer. You can move it outside to you know maybe a, a partially shaded area. So okay. So people are happy with this view. So I'm going to keep it right okay. here. Okay. And this little guy, he's yeah. I don't enough. know if we'll be able okay. to fit that guy in. So, okay. and then it's just a matter of planting these up. So always you turn your plants over, use gravity to get them out. Okay. Yeah, I know. And then you just dig your little hole. I'm just gonna move the soil out. Okay. Plant this guy. First layer. Mm -hmm. yeah. That guy's a little bit bigger, so he needs a little. Someone just asked, what about using granite and quartz chips? Yeah. You can definitely do that. That'll kind of fill in. Um, I would use that probably at the end after you get all the plants in, and that way you can fill in any spots where the dirt's showing, and okay. it kind of dresses it up a little bit. I'll zoom in for people to see. Does anyone else have any other questions while Julie's here? Definitely, she's the person to ask. Are this? Are these little violets in here? Uh, they're, yeah, they're just little uh, little purple flowers. Great. Right. Okay. Yeah, so you can add lots of color or you can keep it just kind of like, this is almost tropical looking mm -hmm. to me. So, and then we'll go ahead and we will plant up the next layer. Okay. So, give it a little room right there. Yeah. Now I see it's why it's important to lay it out first because yeah, you don't want to because you don't plant it. <laughs> well, I think we well, want to move that one to the side. Bad. Yes. Someone asked if a waterfall could be made. Oh, you know, you could do a waterfall. You could use um, like some blue stones, and you could almost kind of put those down. Or if you wanted a true waterfall, you could put a pump in here. That would be a lot more. Um, a lot more technical, a lot more work, but it would you could definitely do that. You'd probably need a little bit bigger pot, I would think. Someone asked if you had ever made one like that before. Uh, a pump one? Or yes, a pump one. Um, I have not, no. Let's see, a little ivy. Now, this one you're probably going to have to trim eventually. How yes. long will it take for this one to completely grow um, out? It kind of depends upon the conditions, and so it's, it's pretty easy, though, to trim up. And I love the kind of cascading look. It's sort of makes it more lush. And someone asked if we broke the pots ourselves, and you did, and we explained <laughs> that, <laughs> how she did that step earlier, and in the comments too, I can also go back and answer them for okay. you, just so that yeah. you can do it's, a little recap of how it, it was done. It is difficult to break the pot yourself, so I would definitely suggest if you have a broken pot to use that, um, or maybe even go to the garden center and see if they have any broken ones. Um, because I'm sure they'll be glad to kind of get rid of those. Right, right. And our friends at Tagawa, they made up a, a, um, a tutorial um, because they have lots of broken pots from, you know, shopping carts running into them and those types of yeah. things. Or just me just being clumsy <laughs> around them. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, we're just going to fit those guys in there. Yes. So, you know, want to make sure that there's no air around them, um, that the soil's packed in nice and tight. Okay. And then you can kind of add okay. those. And then, so now I'm just going to kind of fill in with some moss. And what kind of moss is this? It um, looks a this is, you can different. really use any kind of moss. This is just some I had on hand. Okay. Um, but it really doesn't matter. You the the idea is just to kind of fill it in. So, 
I'm just gonna kind of break this up and put it in here. Now, do you have to water moss? I always wondered that. Um, it depends upon your moss. Okay, um, like so this guy. Would like we this have to should water? be fine. Yeah, this would be fine. Any water that's it's it's easier to water it or kind of soak it before you put it in. It's more pliable. Mm -hmm. Um, and then whatever you you know use to water the plants should be fine with it. Oh, good. Because it comes it comes really dried out, so it'll be fine. I always wonder that. I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to spritz it or let it just kind of do its thing. Right. I mean, it kind of depends upon if you've got like a living moss or you could do, um, you know, you could just do some fake moss in there too and that would be fine and then you wouldn't have to worry about it at all. Watering. And it's okay to kind of mix that up with the right, plants. Right, right. Okay. As long as it's, as long as it's something that's okay to get wet for when you water it. So we're just going to kind of fill in and then you can fill in See. Does anyone have any other questions too? I'm looking at the phone so I can actually take them right now. Let's try not hand eye coordination right now. We've got, all right, got that little side in. Yeah. Okay, this really so, helps and, bring it together. Right, and then this will kind of, the plants will fill in as well as they grow. And is it okay to kind of fill it around? It's not going to affect right. the water of right. the Right, and actually okay. it'll hold the moisture in a little bit, oh, so it's okay. actually kind of a good thing. And you can also use, whoopsie. You could use pebbles as well, and that again will hold the moisture in. So that we can kind of maybe fill this top layer with some pebbles. And then two. Now watering this, I don't imagine you'd water it like a normal plant, just like taking a cup in and just hoping for the best. <laughs> well, yeah, you're gonna kind of you could take just a cup in and just kind of uh, direct the water towards the plants um, and kind of layer or water one layer at a time. Okay. Um, so we've got that. Someone asked um, where they could get moss, and then just to go over the best watering practices for the, for okay. the plant. Okay, yeah, um, so watering practices for the plants really depends upon the plants. So a lot of these are, um, some of these are kind of tropical, so you want kind of a little bit more humidity, um, and then um, water, you know, and, and then feel the soil so when it gets a little bit dry then start watering it. Mm -hmm. um, if you're using succulents you can let it completely dry out okay. and then um, water it then. Um, so it really does depend upon the plants and your, your nursery where you buy the plants will be able to help you with that as well. Um, I don't want to give you one kind of one, one uh, recommendation and then have different plants so someone really wants rosemary really wants the waterfall version let's see what we can do for you rosemary okay so maybe we take some of these out and maybe we can put some of the blue stones in see there that, yeah and she's asking for the pump so i will research that for you too and see yeah what and that looks um like. most garden centers will sell those kind of pumps mm -hmm. um so you would You'd really have to be very technical on how you build it. Um, oopsie. <laughs> yeah, so this might not work so well for what we've got here. I'll hold it up and then pack it down pack at it the down, same time. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, you would have to, I mean, it would have to be watertight. Um, and then you would just need a very small pump. And it, you'd probably want to start with a bigger pot as well. Um, oh yeah, because this one... We barely right. got enough room for the right. soil, in. and so you'd, and then you could even do water plants like on top, but you would it would have to be watertight, so it would be kind of a little tricky. For a little this tricky, one. yeah. Um, but if you've got someone who's very technical and knows what they're doing with that kind of stuff, I'm sure you could get get it working at, at some point. So, so we've got all of our plants in. We've got mm -hmm. kind of how we like it, and um, there, got a little little stream going over yeah, here. Yeah. So now we can add. Our little fairy people, so you can either do fairies and... Um, I like the chicks, too. Yes, I like the chicks as well. So we could make this maybe like a little kind of Easter or spring oh, one. Okay. So maybe we use the chicks. And then we've got our little bunnies. I know it was really popular when I did a, ter a terrarium series. It was taking characters from famous movies, like if you get Star Wars yes. figurines or mm -hmm. Harry Potter. Yeah. It can really transform this, too. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, you could even, you know, yeah, do, just kind of make the plants according to whatever environment your characters oh, are in. And, um, so yeah, I don't know if this guy's going to fit in on the bottom here. I mean, you could kind of put him, put her in there. You could even have some like little things in front. Oh yeah, you can think outside of the yeah. whole thing. Yeah, or you know, you, or you go with the fairies and 
just play with it. Um, kind of start with a theme um, and then just go from there. And you have these little broken pot pieces too. Is that yes. for anything else? Um, these are just for, the, you can actually turn these into stairs as well. Um, so you could kind of stick those in. Okay. I like that you're recycling everything that happened. <laughs> in the... Oh, and it happened. <laughs> so, and you can break them a little bit more too. So maybe make that one a little bit thinner and make steps in there. Um, oh, I do like how that's looking right now. Yeah, so then you kind of have the steps in that way. And you just kind of keep on building and layering. Um, we've got some little stones and things here. Okay. So, I mean, you could just kind of throw those in, in you know, however you want. There's really no wrong way to do this. No, it's there's really not. Um, a little fun. Yeah, the, the keys are to keep kind of the same sort of plants together. So if you're doing succulents, do all succulents. Um, if you're doing tropicals, do those, you know, do the tropicals. So that way they've got the right water needs and the right lighting needs as well. Well, it looks great. And if anyone has any questions, I will direct them to Julie afterwards. So just feel free to put them in the comments. We'll zoom out a little bit so you can see us <laughs> just a little bit, but mostly let's focus on this awesome fairy garden that you just made in what, like less than 20 minutes. I'm yeah. impressed. Yeah. I mean, it's so fast and so easy. I mean, the, it, the longest it took me, you know, the, the step that took me the most was obviously breaking the pot and shopping for what I liked. That was more fun. <laughs> well, thanks everyone for watching Thank you. and we'll post this up right now.